Hello, and welcome to On the Patio with Mr. D. Well, guys, today we're going to talk about the Malone Express scupper cart. How it works, how to assemble it, all that kind of stuff. Now, there's a lot of videos on that already right now. Uh, I got this cart specifically for my Hobie Compass uh, because that boat is heavy. What I wanted to do was to get a scupper cart because the Hobie line has scupper sleeves so you don't have to worry about busting out those scuppers and catching a leak. And that's one of the biggest problems. And one of the big things that sold me on the Malone was the tapered funnel f system to be able to taper to the different size holes that uh, various kayaks have. So what we're gonna do is gonna break this thing down for you uh, and show you what comes in the box and how easy it is to disassemble and all that kind of stuff. Now it comes with two different size pipes. You have this pipe here is for the uh, wider, as you can see here, it's for the uh, wider boats and then you have a smaller one that you use for things that are uh, 12 inches and under. Now this ended up being 11 inches. I'm right at about a quarter of an inch before this pipe would be uh, too short. So it's actually for uh, up to 12 inches maybe. I've got it set up on a 11 inch scupper spread and it just barely hits that. So I'd say 11 is, is the max that this can be spread out. These are all the items that the Malone Express comes with and I'm gonna show you how to assemble. First thing you gotta do is determine which particular uh, spread pipe you're gonna need for your specific kayak. Now, I have the Hobie Compass and it's right at 11 inches, so I have to use the short one. This one is just a half an inch too long if it's totally collapsed to work. So I'm actually up like this. When it's mounted in here, it sets right about like that. And as you can see, it won't go in the scupper holes. So I won't be using the big extension piece, I'll be using the small extension piece. So one of the first things you want to do is each one of these items are keyed, as you can see here, and as you can see here. Now with the holes, you want to put them into the leg mount. So what we're going to do is go ahead and insert with the hole to match up with this hole and you want to insert this in. Now it isn't easy to do, but once you've done it a couple of times, it kind of loosens up. Then you just kind of drop your screw in there and it has a nylock nut that will sit back here. And what I use is a drill, but they give you a uh, Allen wrench to use. But I use a, a drill that has the same size Allen head. So you just take the nylock, put it in here like that, hold it with your finger, and then go ahead and then I've also forgot to tell you, you want to loosen these to be able to get the spread a little bit here because they're not two pieces, they're one piece. So you may have to open it up just a little bit with a screwdriver to get that thing to set in there right. And as soon as that happens and you get it done, then go ahead and tighten these up. And then that one's ready to go. Then you grab the other piece like this with the holes. And you see how it's keyed right here. Just insert that, line up the hole. And right there, put that in and do the same thing. That one's done, then tighten these down. And that part of the system is put together. Now, I have the upgraded unit, so the foam block is not here. This is a very, very nice uh, rubber pad system. What you do is you slide that over the thick end here like this, take the other end, insert it, line up the key, 
Then take the thumb screw and just get it started. Because we're going to pre fit this on the uh, kayak. Loosely tighten it because you're going to adjust it on the, on the uh, kayak. Insert the tires. You get two linchpins here. Uh, these are non pneumatic tires, but they are soft uh, so that you don't have to worry about putting air in them. Typical here, just put your linchpin in, lock it into place, flip to the other side, insert this tire, lock it into place. One of the things I wanted to do, guys, is when I have the Hobie getting ready to be taken off the trailer, I want to be able to mount my scupper cart before it hits the ground. That way I can just roll out. Now, Hobie has got a great idea in their manufacturing, and the only reason I didn't go with Hobie, purely because of cost. I mean, one of the things I wanted to do, guys, was to have the same ability as the Hobie scupper cart, where they've got a, a pin that you can put into the top of the scupper right. that would um, keep the cart connected to the uh, kayak and not fall out. So what I did is I uh, contacted uh, Malone and asked them if I could drill a hole in here and put a pin like this into this to be able to hold that in place. Well, unfortunately, I never got a response back from Malone, which kind of upset me a little bit. I mean, customer service, customer support is paramount in any business. And not getting a simple answer to this, they could have easily said, you know, yeah, don't exceed this size or that size or whatever, whatever. I got absolutely no response. Yeah, their product is good and all that kind of stuff, but if your customer service and customer support system is not that good, you can lose business. So just FYI, if you're going to ask them a question about this particular scupper cart, don't expect an answer because I dang sure didn't get one. So anyway, what I did is I wanted to find out I don't want to change the structural integrity of this uh, mount. So what I did was I decided on using spring clips like this. Now this will not fall out of the kayak cart. Not that big a deal. So again, this is the Malone Express cart. Now the only thing again, I, I took the spring clip pins and drilled a small hole on each end. Now I measured that when it was in the boat to make sure that I had the clearance enough to get the pin in and out without hitting uh, any part of the kayak and had proper clearance to get the, uh, the scupper uh, cart installed. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go out and install this thing into the kayak and show you what's going on. So we'll be back in a bit. When you want to pre-fit to make sure your slides are lined up correctly uh, with your scupper holes, now I do it upside down this way. And I go in, make sure that everything lines up right. Now it's time to take that thumb screw and cinch it down because we are all good to go. The next thing we're going to do is talk to you about how to mount the scupper cart into the bottom of the kayak and then put in those uh, spring clips that I talked to you about. So what I do is I pull back the kayak about that far and then go ahead and install the scupper cart. Go ahead and install one of the clips here. And you see the scupper cart is all installed. Now I just kind of pull it back. Now once the scupper cart is on the ground, as you can see over here, it's really, really simple to launch your kayak. Now again, this is all by myself, so this is how I do this. Now I just grab the handle here, pull it to the side, push back. 
and you can see the kayak cart is on the ground so what we're going to do now is kind of show you how it performs how it maneuvers and then how i put it back on the trailer and it's really kind of cool how that works so hey we'll be back in a sec so you can see it rolls around really nice easy to handle so what I'm going to do now guys is show you how I get this thing back on the trailer and with the using the scupper cart as an assist tool so basically all I do is I lift the nose of the craft up on the first leg of the trailer go to the back of the boat lift up now I pull the spring clip out I drop the cart push the craft into its guides put your spring clips in and that's it well hey guys that wraps it up here for the Malone Express scupper cart again I'm using this on my uh, Hobie compass uh, it does come with two different uh, extender rods depending on the width of your uh, your scupper holes you may use the big one or you may use the small one now on the Hobie compass you have to use the small one this is just a half inch too long when it's butted up into the system it's just a half an inch too long but the short piece worked well you guys saw how I put in the uh, spring clips to be able to maintain uh, its installation, the cart's installation, when I'm removing the kayak from the trailer. You've also seen how I use the installed cart on the compass to put it back on the trailer. And it really works well. Uh, one of the biggest problems I had was tail dragging when I was trying to install it myself onto the trailer. Now with the scupper cart, I'm able to wheel it up, lift the nose, put it on the first rail, and then grab the back end of the cart, push it forward, remove the cart, and then push it the rest of the way forward, strap it down, and I'm ready to go. My only complaint for this particular uh, kayak, and, and it's unfortunate, but it's in their customer support part. Uh, I asked a simple question. Can I add a small hole, and what size hole would you recommend for me to put a spring clip to hold the cart in place when it's installed in the kayak? I never got a response back. It's been a week and a half now. Uh, that upsets me. Everybody else that I talk with and deal with, every time I go to their customer support uh, system, they come right back to me. Now, yeah, I did get the canned message. It says, yes, we've received your uh, inquiry, and we'll be back with you within the next, I think it's 24, 48 hours. Well, we're way past that, so I guess they really don't care. And that kind of upset me a little bit. But hey, it's all right. I went ahead and did it anyway. And uh, I used the small spring clip. It really works well. You line it up in the hole, clip it into place when you put the, uh, the scupper cart in through the scupper holes. And one thing I did note that I didn't need two clips, I only need one. So I'll probably not use the other hole, but it depends on how I'm loading and unloading, uh, what side I'll use. So it's not that big a deal. So anyway, I hope this uh, video was informative. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one.